once you reflect, I guess, as a team, you can then talk about the children and what and reflect on their uh, development and their journey through the year as well. Um, I know some New South Wales services haven't seen their children, um, you know, for a few months as well due to lockdown and things, um, but I'm sure all services are con um, still connecting with their children. So we've got the transition to score reports, um, which is based on the New South Wales template. This can be completed on the app, uh, sorry, on the portal, not on the app. And it's only available for parents to view on the portal at this stage. Um, you can print them out and send them to families as well. So that's another option that you have. Um, we've got one here that you can have a quick oh. This is when you can view it as well as download a copy as well. So the format uh, follows exactly the way that it has been, um, I guess the template that's been sent out to services or that's available to complete. And to print it, you can just print on this and print to PDF as well. So to send it to families. We can edit. So if you need to update it or anything like that, once you've created it, you can go in, put in your comments and upload any of the photos or drawings and things like that and update the report. So this one's quite easy. And it's good for, um, I guess, services to, and if you're not in New South Wales, you can use this as well, unless you have a specific template that you need to um, use, but it's good for the families to then pass it on to the schools um, and then help the teachers build those relationships with the children once they move on to formal schooling. All right, so for children, so this is, this is particularly for children who are going to uh, school next year. For those that don't, um, that aren't, then you would be completing the developmental summary. So um, we've got this available and it can only be completed via the portal, but it is able to be viewed by parents on the app. So um, let me just share where it is for them on the app. So when they go into their child's um, profile, they click on the three dots there and the developmental summary report section is available for them to view. Um, it can also be viewed on the portal for them as well. So that's also a good tool. Um, they can see it in a bit of a bigger view as well. So to create one, we just go to the top here, um, add all our notes. I know that there are a couple of um, requests for uh, services to add not just the early years learning framework, but also the QKLG and My Time Our Place. That will be coming up as a update to this section. So hopefully that's good news for those who are using those frameworks. Um, and also another update that we will be uh, implementing is the ability for parents to provide feedback on the specific developmental summary as well. So once you've completed it, you can save um, as draft and be able to edit it. Otherwise, what you can do, which I'll just quickly create one. So end of year is what you'll be looking at. And then we can just do today, Miss Jen, and we can save as draft. So then that will appear here. Um, and then you can see here, we've got quarterly, half yearly and end of year. We do have the headings here, but it's up to each service, depending on how frequently they would like to create these developmental summaries. So you can either view the report here and you can see what you've completed and then you've got the ability to edit as well. So then you're going back and you're just adding to these sections as you go, because they do take a bit of time. Um, ensure that you do save frequently only um, depending on how long you're being typing on the portal for it may time you out. 